guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another video. Now today we're back with the Premier League predictions and I'm joined by George. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Good stuff. Right, let's get straight into them. Friday night's fixture. We've got, I think this should be an interesting one. We've got Wolves versus Leeds United. Two teams that on their day can play some really good football, especially Leeds. They've always got goals flying in at both ends. I mean, that Arsenal 4-2 sums them up. Goals flying in at both ends. Uh, now they go up against Wolves who picked up decent results lately, including that win away to Southampton. Uh, I don't think there'll be a lot between them, but I just fancy Leeds. I'm going to go for Wolves 1, Leeds 2. Yeah, I think it will be a, uh, a close game. Wolves have kind of disappointed this season, haven't they? You know, mm -hmm. on, on, the, on the basis of how, how well they've done in the past couple of seasons. Uh, I'm going to go with Wolves to edge it 2-1. Uh, 2-1. Next up, we've got Southampton versus Chelsea in the early Saturday game. Now, Southampton's form coming into this is not good whatsoever. Southampton really to turn things around. You know, I don't think they'll go down, but they don't want to end their season on a bit of a downer. They've got a, an FA Cup quarter final to look forward to against Bournemouth, which should be interesting. Uh, but here, I'm going to back Chelsea. They look very, very efficient under their new manager. I'm going to back Chelsea to win this 1-0. Yeah, see, I think uh, I don't think Chelsea have really came up against any big threats under their new manager yet. I mean, they've played they played Barnsley, Sheffield they, United. They beat they beat Spurs. Yeah, I guess you could say that's one of their one of their bigger um, wins in in recent times. But I'm gonna go with uh, Southampton to get a result. Actually, um, with that, I think that'll be the new Chelsea manager's first defeat. Will it if they if they lose? I think so, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with Southampton to get a result and win 2-1. 2-1, wow, that's a statement. The next one's a massive game between Burnley Football Club and West Bromwich Albion. Now, Burnley played in midweek. They played their game in hand against Fulham. It ended as a draw, which isn't a bad result for Burnley because put that with a few of their recent results and they've got a good gap above that bottom three. Now, one of the teams in that bottom three is West Brom and they picked up a decent draw against Man United at the weekend, but they need wins, not draws. They need to win this one, and I'm going to say they will. Burnley nil, West Brom one. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tight one, but I'm going to go for Burnley to edge this one. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Next up, Merseyside derby. Liverpool versus Everton. Should be interesting. Liverpool come into this in pretty bad form in the league, but a good result in the Champions League against Leipzig. Uh, Everton... They're a funny team. They've been decent recently, but then they lost at home to Fulham, which is a really bad result. I don't know what to predict for this. It was obviously 2-2 back at Goodison Park, so I'm going to go for another draw. If any team wins it, it'll probably be Liverpool, but I'm actually going to go for a 1-1 draw here. Um, Liverpool to win 1-0. Yeah. to edge it, yeah. Okay. Next game, another big one down the bottom. Fulham versus Sheffield United. Now, Fulham's recent results haven't been bad. They're just drawing a lot. They need to turn them draws into wins. Uh, they've picked up four points in the last two games, which are both on the road, though, so that's really impressive. Sheffield United, bottom of the table. They need it to be a win. Can they do it? I'm not sure. They might be able to get a draw. I'm, I'm, I really don't know. I'm going to go for 1-1, because Fulham do draw a lot. Yeah, I think... Uh, I don't think... Sheffield United really have anything to lose at this point. They should just, you know, they should. They they're going to get relegated, aren't they, John? I mean, it's going to take a miracle for them to get out of it. Um, so I think if they can try and get a point, I think it'll be a good result. So I'm going to go for one-one. Yeah, same as me. Next up, London derby: West Ham versus Tottenham Hotspur. Should be an interesting game. Spurs really not quite easy to predict lately under Mourinho. Hmm, I'm not sure what to think of them. I don't even think they'll make the top four, you know. But speaking of the top four, West Ham, they're really close to getting in there. And I think they're fifth in the table coming into this game. It's not the kind of fixture Spurs want because West Ham are looking good. But I think Spurs might get a draw. It should be a good game. I'm going to go for 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I think West Ham will actually nick this one. Yeah? Yeah. 2-1. 2-1. I don't blame you. West Ham look very good at the they moment. They are flying. Yeah, they are doing really well. Fair play to Moise. Uh, next up, we have got a Midlands derby. Aston Villa versus Leicester City. Two Midlands clubs that are doing fantastic this season. It's got to be said. Uh, Leicester are in a great position. They just beat Liverpool and they are up to third in the table. Can they chase down that title? 
Probably not, because Man City are looking very good. But they probably will make the top four, which is looking more likely than not. Uh, Aston Villa, they've done all right. Their last result was a goalless draw against Brighton. They're, I don't know what to think. I don't know where they're going to finish. Maybe seventh or eighth. Who knows? But I'm just going to back Leicester on this occasion. Villa one, Leicester two. Um, yeah, it is, it's another very tight game. Uh, Oh, I'm going to go with Villa to edge it 1-0. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And they won 1-0 in the reverse fixture, I think. So, yeah, yeah fair enough. Uh, next up, wow, Arsenal-Man City. We've got some really good games this weekend, honestly. There's big relegation battles. There's the Merseyside derby. And then there's this one. Arsenal just beat Leeds 4-2. And they are looking pretty good. Trying to chase that top four. Can they make it? Who knows? But Man City are the runaway leaders. Hmm... Hmm. I'm going to back Arsenal to get a draw. Arsenal won, Man City won. Yeah, I mean, if, if they can get Man City to drop any points, it would be massive for the you know for the other teams at the top of there, like some Man United, Leicester. Um, I think Man City is still going to be too strong, though. I can't see them dropping anything. Uh, I'm going to go with Man City to win 3-1. Okay, next up we've got Man United versus Newcastle. Man United have faltered a bit lately. They're just a bit off the pace. And this is the kind of fixture they want, to be honest, because Newcastle, not very good to watch lately. They'll probably stay up, fair play to them, but on the eye, they're not a good team to watch. And I think United should be able to win this. I'm going to go for 1-0. I'm going to go uh, for United to win again. I'm going to go with 2-0 there. 2-0. And the final game is on the Monday. It's claimed to be a derby, but I don't think it's much for derby. It's Brighton versus Crystal Palace. Um, <laughs> tricky game to predict. I think Brighton are better to watch. Palace have got good players. I like Eze, I like Zaha, but I think as a team, I prefer to watch Brighton. Uh, and I think they'll win this game 2-0. You think Brighton will win 2-0? Uh, I think Palace will win. Um, I think I'll just nick it 1-0. 1-0 to Palace. Yeah. yeah, that's it then. That is our predictions for the weekend's games. Some massive ones. I'm really excited for these guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know your predictions down below because we always like to see them. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out. See you guys.